guys, it's coffee time. As you can see, I dyed my hair. Didn't quite do what I wanted it to do, which is fine. Because I still think it looks fine. I'm happy with it. Um, but what I wanted, because I still had so much of this, look, I'm just going to show you the colors. I still had so much of this pillar box red that I haven't used because it honestly is orange. It's not like a red red, like a primary red. It's just, it's orange. Um, so I still have so much of this because I used it on my hair, I think once and then was like, eh, it doesn't really cover up. It doesn't cover up the bleached, but now yellow parts of my hair. So I use that and then no, not Enchanted Forest. Someday I want to do Enchanted Forest again. I'm so sad. It's been so long. And then the Vampire Red, which is the one that I always use. So what I wanted was for it to have like a dark red to orange sort of progression as though my hair is a flame, right? Which as some of you might know, I have attempted to do before. So you can tell like, especially, okay, if I do this, you can see like a huge difference, right? So it worked, um, but again, the pillar box red doesn't, if you have any brownish remnants in your hair, the pillar box red isn't going to cover it up, which is so unfortunate to me. But I realized, I think that I have, yeah, I have yellow now <laughs> because Ro left it behind. So I'm kind of like, oh, I should have done part of my hair yellow just to see what it would look like. I didn't didn't think. So next time, after it's faded out, you know, in like a week, <laughs> maybe I'll, maybe I'll try putting in some yellow and see how that goes. And I will be super interactive. Um, but yeah, so I did that. And it was really funny because MangaPod, we do our sound check for MangaPod at seven, which always winds up being like 7.15 or 7.20. But I realized at seven o'clock that I had been sitting there with hair dye in my hair and didn't realize that we were about to do sound check. So I frantically went onto Skype and was like, Aaron, I know you haven't like called us yet to do sound check, but I need like five minutes. And I literally took a three minute shower. It's <laughs> <So> like <laughs> washing the body, washing the hair and out. And then I got back here and nobody had responded <laughs> at that point. It's like, oh, so, uh, yes, fun times, dying hair. I'm just glad to have a change because I like, I'm not, I'm not not a fan. I am totally fine with when like this hair up here, the natural hair has turned kind of a purpley hue and then all of the blonde has faded to blonde. I think that it looks nice. It's just, I get bored. I get bored and I like to put dye on my hair sometimes. So that's what happened today. Uh, today was really fun though because a couple of friends of mine from college wound up in town and I hadn't seen them in I think like four years which is crazy to me because if I think about it I've been here since two, October 2010. Wait 11, 12, no I've been here two like two and a half ish years I guess. Oh, that's less time than I thought that I had been here. Anyways, so I haven't seen them in a long time because they both graduated from college before me, even though Margaret, the girl, is the same age as me. She was just the person who's like really on top of it and was like, peace out. But anyway, so they wound up being in town and uh, I felt so bad because we were supposed to meet up. <laughs> I was supposed to meet them at a diner that I had never been to, but I just looked on Yelp supposed to meet them at this diner and um, my car wound up not being able to start and I panicked and apparently never texted them. I was supposed to meet her at this diner at 10 a.m. I think and at 11 she called me being like hey are you dead? I was like oh no I'm the worst. So they wound up fortunately um, they wound up being able to come to me and then we went to a place that's nearby me and got to catch up and everything. But I had no idea. They apparently live, like, within a couple hours distance of me. So if there's ever any reason for me to go to San Diego, like, for Comic-Con or anything, um, I could hang out with them, which was kind of cool. It was just really neat, like, catching up with somebody who um, I was good friends with. And then, you know, we just, like, haven't talked for a long time. So, uh, 
yeah, so that was really fun. It made me like think about college stuff again. And completely by accident, I was wearing um, a shirt that I got at USITT for Theater Tech. That wait, can I show you this shirt because it's amaze balls. It's a uh, a set lighting shirt. <laughs> And there was a time when, I'm trying to remember what it was, they gave you a certain amount off if you did something, and I can't remember what it was, but they had all sorts of different shirts that were possibilities. See, it says Stage Spot, www.stagespot.com, and then on the back it says, well hung, <laughs> as a light hanging, and I love this shirt so much because I remember when I was at USATT, and the guy was showing me all the different shirts that I could possibly get for $5 off. And I was like, dope. And I was looking at all of them and I was like, I want the well hung one. And he just stared at me. Now you guys know me. So you know the level of classiness I have and also my sense of humor. So it would not surprise any of you if you were manning this booth and I came to you and I said, good sir, I would like $5 off of the well hung t-shirt. You would say, I knew that. I've already packaged it up for you with your name on it. And I would say, that's right. No, no. This dude was baffled. He just stared at me. And I thought maybe he didn't hear me. So I said again, can I get the well hung shirt? And then he just laughed. <laughs> he like went from one extreme to the other, like just no emotion to just laughing. I thought it was the funniest thing. And he said, all right, what size do you want? And I was like, do you have any women's sizes? And he was like, no, oddly enough, we don't have any women's sizes of a shirt that says well hung. And I said, all right, give me a normal small. And he goes, okay, <laughs> and hands it to me. And that was hilarious. I love that. But um, why did I bring that up? Oh, because I was wearing it and I got that in college. And then I wound up hanging out with them. And I thought, oh, I didn't even do this on purpose. That's hilarious of me. I'm also using a purse that I, or a tote bag that I got when I was in college at the exact same at USITT. Wait a minute. That blue thing. <laughs> that blue thing is from USITT. It's a S Syracuse stage lighting bag, I think. I have two of them. Shh, don't tell anybody. Any of you who are familiar with the run toward that booth to get those bags, Nobody except for all of the internet that is watching me right now needs to know that I took two at the same time because I intended on giving it to a friend and then he didn't want it. So I kept both. Okay. Okay. Internet. Wow. I'm out of water. I guess I'll just drink coffee. Yes. So I did that and um, I'm learning how to use Premiere. Oh my gosh. I'm forcing myself to edit. Uh, Premiere has so much more... I'm trying to think of how to say this. There are things that have to do with the actual editing process that make more sense to me in Vegas, like the way that they work. But in Premiere, um, it has more interesting options that are very easy to use. Vegas, you almost anything that you want to do, you have to like look up how to do it. With Premiere, it makes it pretty easy. It has like a drag drop mechanic, basically. And I'm like, all right, I can get behind this. I can, I can enjoy this. So I spent a decent number of hours today um, editing I Tried in Premiere. And I, I think that it's going to be kind of great because I'm going a little bit overboard. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, I could do this and I could do this. You're going to watch it and be like, there's not much to this. I don't care. I don't care. I'm so proud of myself because I had such a problem figuring out Premiere. Oh my goodness. So then uh, we had MangaPod and MangaPod went great. And uh, talked about old boy. And next Sunday, not Sunday, what? Next Tuesday um, for MangaPod, we are reading the first seven volumes of a manga called Isle Generation Basket. Isle as in I apostrophe LL. Isle. Oh. Yes. So, I <laughs> don't even know what word I was starting to say. Um, yes, we're reading the first seven 
volumes of that because there are very few chapters in each volume. It gets to be more and more as you go on, but yes, it's a basketball manga because we wanted to do a sports one, and it's one that I read the first two volumes of when I was in high school, I believe, and then there wasn't any more scanlated, so I just didn't read any more of it, and then I was like, oh, we should totally read this. We want to do a sports one. Oh my god. And it turned out that it was on a couple other people's lists, too. And I was like, yay! So that's what we're going to be reading. And I uh, have watched the first half of the first episode of Revenge. And that show is the funniest thing I have ever seen. So weird. <laughs> I really like the main girl, which is nice. Um, but, like, oh, man. I can tell it's going to be one of those guilty pleasures. Like, just a super bad good show. So that's, that's everything. That's everything happened to me to dizzle. Right? Yes. Last episode of House of Cards that I watched was weird, but I don't know. I really like that show so far, so I'm going to keep watching it. I can't remember what the last episode I watched was, but um, for those of you who've seen it, and so that it's not spoilery, it's um, the episode when the photographer shows up in town. So that's the one that I just watched. And uh, and at the end, I was like, no! I got so upset. But anywho, I'm going to go. I hope you guys had an amazing day. And I will talk to you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.